The pro-Palestinian protesters that have rocked American cities, college campuses, and political events since the war broke out in Gaza have been relatively quiet the past few weeks since Joe Biden stepped down and Kamala Harris ascended to the top of the ticket. That changed Wednesday at Harris's rally in Detroit. Protesters attempting to interrupt her speech. Everyone's voice matters, but I am speaking now. Harris handily shutting them down. You know what? If you want Donald Trump to win, then say that, otherwise I'm speaking. Michigan is an important swing state with a large Arab American population, many of which have expressed deep concerns over the Biden-Harris administration's support of Israel. A concern for Harris is if this group will stay home on Election Day. During the primaries, 100,000 Michigan Democrats cast uncommitted ballots. Michigan, as it was in the past two elections, is expected to be extremely close this time around. In 2020, President Biden won the state by a little more than 154,000 votes. And in 2016, former President Trump won the state by just under 11,000 votes. The mayor of Dearborn, Michigan, indicating to PBS Wednesday the Arab American community sees the switch to Harris as an opportunity. The door is cracked open that there's now opportunity to have dialogue for us to understand, you know, how Vice President Harris will differentiate herself from President Biden. In a statement late Wednesday, the Harris campaign reaffirmed her commitment to a ceasefire while adding, as she has said, it is time for this war to end in a way where Israel is secure, hostages are released, the suffering of Palestinian civilians ends, and the Palestinian people can realize their right to dignity, freedom, and self-determination. In Washington, I'm Kayla Gaskins.